Good afternoon from Frankfurt Flughafen. Today I'm transferring from the A to Z gates to catch my 5 o'clock flight to Washington, D.C. My layover here in Frankfurt was significantly reduced due to a delay on my previous flight coming in from Prague. Thankfully though, I'm transferring from a Schengen to international flight here in Frankfurt, and it's quick and easy. Unlike in most US airports where you have to re-clear security, in Frankfurt there are only customs checkpoints, i.e. borders officers, between the Schengen A and international Z gates. Here at gate Z22 is my plane for this evening's flight. This Boeing 777-200ER, registered November 77022, was delivered new to Continental Airlines in July of 2010 before moving on to United after Continental's merger with the carrier in 2011. This 777 is bearing one of United's many Star Alliance liveries. After getting my boarding pass and passport checked one last time at the gate, this is a mandatory process for all North American bound flights, I was headed on board to my seat. 48A. Awaiting me at my seat is a comfy blanket, but no pillow. United is one of the many airlines that is beginning to remove the overhead vents in all classes from their planes. This can especially be an issue on flights to hot, tropical destinations or desert regions like the Middle East. The overhead reading light still remains. On each seat pack, there is a large IFE screen. Below that, there is a double headphone jack that you can use with both double and single jack earbuds and a USB port. Then you have the seat back literature pocket, but we'll take a look at that later. The tray table is large and spacious, a little bit more than the width of a MacBook. Below the tray table, there's another large leather pocket. In between and underneath each seat are 110 volt universal power outlets, which can especially come in handy on long transatlantic flights like this one. As for legroom, it's great. Then again, I'm only 1.75 meters tall. All seats on United's wide bodies, regardless of class, do recline in some way or another. The headrests on the back of each economy seat are made of padded leather, fold, the IFE system on most of United's wide body planes is extremely fast and has many features that you will never get bored of. Even if you're on a 12 to 14 hour flight, there will still be plenty of movies, TV shows, and games for you to choose from. Speaking of which, the earbuds UA provides are among the best of the big three North American carriers. Here's our takeoff from runway 25 left at Frankfurt. All United Widebody planes have Wi-Fi on board for purchase, but for some reason, the Wi-Fi didn't work on my flight. 
Over the English Channel, the first part of the dinner service began. Before the main meal, a bag of these crackers was handed out to each passenger, as well as a drink of their choice. As usual, I went for tomato juice. While we're waiting for the main dinner course, let's take a look at United's signature in-flight magazine. The great part about airlines featuring their own in-flight magazines is that avgeeks such as I can, well, geek over each airline's unique fleet of planes and route networks. Dinner is served. The meal comprised of chicken with lentils and veggies and tomato sauce, potatoes, a brownie, hot bread roll with butter, and a full can of tomato juice. As per usual with any transatlantic flight, after the dinner service, the flight attendants passed out small water bottles. One plus when flying on a North American carrier as opposed to the European counterparts is a small, free snack bar at the back of economy class galleys with treats such as brownies, chips, and pretzels. European carriers do offer drinks in their back alleys for free, but no snacks. As per usual, around an hour before landing, the cabin lights came back on as the flight attendants handed out the pre-landing snack. This consisted of a crostini sandwich roll and once again, a hot or cold drink of your choice. For the third time in a row, I went for tomato juice. Here's our descent and landing into runway 01 right at Washington Dulles International Airport. United's 777 Economy Class product features a 343 configuration for a total of 9 seats in each row. While this may look like a cramped fit, it is in fact exactly the opposite. On the 9 hour flight to DC, I never once felt uncomfortable and the legroom is just spectacular. The great service and personality coming from the cabin crew, filling snacks and meals, and phenomenal IFE system is what allows me to rate this flight a 10 out of 10. If you're going to fly transatlantic, make sure to do it on Swiss or United. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, see ya.